tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. The hatred runs deep between these teams, and no position feels the pressure of a rivalry game more than quarterback. Can this fellow look past the emotion of the game and deliver a victory for his team? It's the Jets going up against the Bills. With that, let's send it out to our broadcast team, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis with this Week 2 matchup. All right, we appreciate it, Larry. It's our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, we're on to week two in the NFL season as we've got a good one here between the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everybody. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fans. Of went off to his fullback out of the backfield. Give him eight on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good, and once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future All-Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago. Really, it grades out as a pretty darn good class. They have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. General manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. to throw again. It's complete to his tight end, Charles Clay. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. So an excellent throw and an excellent catch there. Zone coverage, which means you just have to find the open areas in between defenders. That's exactly what happened on that play. Now back to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they don't they? They get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Second down following the run. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. Third down here. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. Hurry up, here we go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
Just a five yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns over the middle and caught by the tight end play and brought down but not before reaching the 45 yard line offense comes to the line now first and 10 out of the gun they'll look to throw and it's incomplete trying to go back to clay that time and that'll bring up second down when you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Percy Harvin, the intended receiver there, and it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense as that fell harmlessly to the ground. So here we go now, an extra defensive back in there on third and 10. They'll set up a throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's gonna get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 20 yards. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. 3 nothing is our score, and we're back to upstate New York after this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back to throw now on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. to throw again and incomplete here on third down here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here and after the field goal last time let's see what they can get here at least they got points out of the last drive Charles I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. 23 yards on the play. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Trying to go back to Clay that time. That'll bring up second down. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. 
and a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Here we go. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And this is going to be incomplete. Holding offense. So oftentimes you see defensive holding. Here it's offensive holding for the flag. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he dropped it. Now it was tipped. Altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it. The Bills offense now. They get set to head back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old, reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage is typically running away from someone and not worrying about traffic coming out on the other end. yards left for the offense it's second down now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw man open right side it's the tight end clay 19 yards on the pickup there and now they'll have it first and goal okay when the big guy runs a corner route you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him. Doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage because of his body type. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught at about the five. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count. And Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. Back to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. Let's go. Blue Out of the gun now on third down. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll bring... Give him nine there on the first down completion. And he is enjoying another fine performance just like a week ago. He, I mean, let's be honest, when he's playing like this, it creates a lot of matchup nightmares. And it really does because it, it creates a ton of headaches. You tried to design so many coverage for a guy like this, but truthfully, he should have an answer to anything that's thrown at him. If you throw a linebacker at him, he should. Back now in Buffalo. 
This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Expecting pass. They'll drop to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. And a nifty little deep juke spin move. Not a great deal there on the back end, but a nice gain still. And some options here for the offense on second and two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. All right, so the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll look to throw again. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. And that was incomplete, but I don't know how much of that falls on the quarterback. He was pressured. Brandon, the rush showed up so fast, the quarterback had no chance to get the ball downfield. They'll set up a throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Try and start this drive in the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. This is Gillisley. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. toes and that's going to be a first down well done well how about keeping your head about you in this situation no more timeouts finds a way to get out of bounds now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down he'll look to throw and he can't hang on to it that would have sealed it instead second down Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Well, a gain of four on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. Let's see what they go to here on third down and six. Watkins alone on the left side. Back to throw. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. 
I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it that you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter, got to feel pretty good as a defense. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. He's back to throw. Buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. And down by five, they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for the Jets, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And now they'll have a few extra days here before they face Kansas City next week. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they'll drop to 0-2, and they'll be at home next week for a date with the Arizona Cardinals. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.